Hi guys, it's Ruben, a math person. Today I'll be going over question 219 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, I assume you're, you already attempted it. Let's just dive right in. The profits of a life insurance company's A and B are normally distributed with the same mean. So mean of A is equal to mean of B, which I'm just going to call is mean. The variance of company B's profit is 2.25 times the variance of company A's profit. The 14th percentile of company's A profit is the same. So they're saying 14th percentile, so wherever that may be, this is like 14%. That part for A is equal to some P of B. Okay, so then we can, we, and we also know this is normal, so we can also think of it like this. Probably the X is less than some value of 14 is equal to 0.14. So let's normalize that for a. So that's x minus the mean of a over the standard deviation of a divided. And on the other side, it's the x 14th minus the mean of a over standard deviation of a. OK, so we know that this is just the definition of z. z is less than x of 14, whatever that may be, minus the mean, because we know mean of a is just mean, divided by the standard deviation of a is equal to 0.14. So let's look up what z value corresponds to 0.14 or 14%. Okay, so then on the exam, they're only going to give you the positive side. So you have to do 1 minus 0.14 to figure out what the percentage is. So that's 0.86. So the 0.86 responds, corresponds to 1.08. So they're saying on 1.08 on this side, this is 86%. So we can assume that negative... 1.08 is going to give you that 0.14 or 14% is equal to, so this is equal to negative 1.08. So we can say this sum 14th value minus mean over standard deviation of A is equal to negative 1.08. We can solve for this unknown x 14th. So I'm going to multiply the standard deviation to the other side, negative 1.08, standard deviation of A plus mean, okay? So now we also know that the probability that x is less than some x 14th is equal to p. And p is what we're looking for. And then we know x 14th is given to be this. But let's normalize it first. So that's x minus mean of p over the standard deviation of b is less than x of 14 minus the mean of b over the standard deviation of b is equal to some p. All right, all right. So this is just the definition of z. Z is less than x 14th minus mean of B. We know all means are the same. And then you know standard deviation of B. So if this is variance, the standard deviation of B is just the square root of 2.25 times the variance of A. Okay? So let's put that in there. Two square root of 2.25 times the variance of A is equal to P. We know x of 14 is given here, our squiggly line, so I'm going to plug that in. z is less than, is it less than negative 1.08 standard deviation of a plus m, and then I have this part, minus m, divided by the square root of 2.25. The square root of variance we know is just given to be standard deviation of a. The means just cancel out, and then the standard deviation also cancels out in the top and the bottom. So this is exactly the probability that z is less than some negative 1.08 divided by square root of 2.25, which is equal to p. So this is saying some z value is equal to 0.7. Some z value less than 0.72 is equal to p. So let's look at our chart. 0.72, z value is equal to 0.72, 0.72. Oh wait, but I left my negative sign here. So this is saying some value z less than this negative 0.72 part right here the percentage corresponding to it is our p that we're looking for but then because we're given the positive side we have to look at the positive side 0 0.72 0 0.72 which is 0.7642 so they're saying this per whole percentage right here is 0.7642 so we know this part right here just this part is just 1 minus 0.7642 which is equal to approximately equal to 0.2358, or this is approximately equal to the 24th percentile. 
So this is our answer, D. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!